It's something we haven't seen in a while. A public display of affection from the president and first lady. Melania's hand is resting on the president's arm while his is placed on her knee. Could it mean all is forgiven? The photo was taken Friday night at a party at Mar-a-Lago, just hours after the couple visited survivors of the Valentine's Day massacre at a hospital in Parkland, Florida. But that moment of serenity didn't last long. Shortly after this photo was taken, Trump launched what is being called a two-day Twitter tirade that was unusually angry and defiant, even by Mr. Trump's standards. Trump usually spends his Mar-a-Lago weekends playing golf, but the New York Times and Washington Post say Trump's top aides didn't like the optics of the president being photographed on the golf course so soon after the high school shootings. So Trump found himself cooped up in his club, spending hours watching cable news, getting more and more agitated. Russia influence uh, the election. This is real. There is no hoax here. The president may choose to believe Vladimir Putin, but these facts are provable beyond a reasonable doubt. The president hit back, attacking fake news media, Democrats, the Obama administration, crooked Hillary Clinton. He also appeared to blame the FBI for the massacre. Very sad that the FBI missed all of the many signals sent out by the Florida school shooter. They are spending too much time trying to prove Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. There is no collusion. Get back to the basics and make us all proud. The barrage continued until around midnight Sunday, when Trump capped off his weekend tweet storm with a swipe at Oprah. During the campaign, we are all aware that some 20 women accused him of inappropriate sexual behavior. Her 60 Minutes report Sunday night consisted of voters from Michigan for and against Trump. All he does is bully people. But that's because that's you literally hate him. all he does. I don't hate you him. You do hate him. Just watched a very insecure Oprah Winfrey interview a panel of people on 60 Minutes. The questions were biased and slanted. The facts incorrect. Hope Oprah runs so she can be exposed and defeated just like all of the others. During his presidential campaign, Donald Trump ran as a pro-gun candidate. In the wake of the school shootings, his spokesperson, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, says Mr. Trump is now open to, quote, improving federal background checks for gun purchases.